everybody, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the Metro Manila Arena here in the Philippines for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of Bantamweight action. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. Opening three minutes of this 10-round fight. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Back counter punch there. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. is damaged by a left hand. Boy, I know he's not in great. Solid. And a big punch puts him down. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Hard to prepare for a situation like this. But many do. He's been down. Now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare. It's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy. If you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Oh, look at that. You know you need space to punch. He realizes that, so he pushes his opponent. There's a right hand. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not Hello. something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start early and stay with. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Come on, give the ball. Final ten seconds. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Merciless. End of the round there, a round in which we did see the knockdown. And Teddy, when a fighter comes back to the corner, having just been floored, typically how are they acting? What are you seeing out of them? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind. You dropped. You're afraid to go in that room again. So put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped. He will not be afraid to go back in that room. You need to throw off. If you're not punching, he is. How quickly can he recover? That's one of the questions that will be answered early on in this round after being knocked down in that last round. Well, what he has to do is go out there, be defensive-minded. I think get a little time early on. Don't worry about winning or pressing the first part of the round. Just get himself together, then start picking it up after that.
able to dismiss it. You see him holding on. Keep doing what you're doing. Oh, what an exchange. How about that left hand? You know, you go out there, a fighter like this, you were just knocked down in the last round. Now you got to go out there, you got to prove to your opponent, hey, I'm fine. You got to prove the whole arena, hey, look at me, I'm fine. Oh, that's a big shot with the left hand. And he just holds on there. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Let it go! A solid left hand by Merciless. Teddy, I've heard you say it many times before, but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to, because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance, stay effective. And he engages in the clinch. Come on, get that was off the mark. Blocks that punch. It's okay, let's go. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Well placed hook go. there. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can't, he's chomping at the bit. He's confident. to move more. Just keep moving. You hit him really good in that round. A couple of times. Really good. All night long. Start of a new round, and you got to expect his opponent to jump all over him. He nearly got rid of him at the end of the last round. Yeah, if I'm in the other corner, I'm telling him to get after him. But you can use that in reverse. You know your opponent's coming after you. Maybe he gets a little reckless. You have an opportunity to nail him as he's coming after you. <laughs> that shot unable to land. Back to the body. Uppercut. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Locks that belt line well. A little head hunting never hurt. Does it with the hook. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Watch that! Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. One, two, one, two. Halfway through this round. Pace yourself! Beat him to the punch! Good block by Merciless. Completely missing with that punch. Head and body, head and body. Able to cover up that gut. Accurate hook. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Merciless is thumped by a left hand. Stay with him, stay with him.
Had his target in mind, but just missed. Let it go. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. That's it, just like that. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. And we come to the end of the round. Relax. Just like that, all right? Another round, just like that. Okay, listen. I need you to throw three punches. Combinations. Keep it simple, okay? Just keep it simple. You're making this harder than it has to be. Fourth round is underway. Teddy's scorecard reads three rounds to zip against him. You know, I think if you told him before the fight you're going to throw more punches than your opponent, he'd feel good. But right now, it's not working. Well, I think he's looking to take a picture. He's looking to go to a studio and do a photo shoot because somebody should tell him that after you throw a punch, you're not supposed to pose. Unload! Was just off the mark. Teddy, what advice do you give in a situation like this when you have a fighter who's clearly been hurt, who's just looking to hold on and buy himself some time? Well, it's more than just advice. You know, I, I admonish him a little bit. I tell him, hey, listen, I don't want no excuses that he's tying you up. It takes two to tangle. You don't have to get tied up if you don't let him. Don't let him. Take a little step back and create room and let those hands go. And just grabbing on to his opponent. He missed with that headshot. He's tied. He's tied. And a right hand lands flush. Halfway through round number four. Unable to make an impact there by Merciless. Boy, some of the old school guys would really appreciate this, wouldn't they, Teddy? Just great upper body movement, so elusive up top. Yeah, this is an example like they used to say in the old days. He stands right in front of you, and you can't hit him in the backside with a handful of bug shot. He just missed that shot up top. Nice work, nice work. Get out of the way from those punches. Move your head. Well, he's throwing it, but just missed. Isn't landing it. Watch the hook. Well placed left hand there. Throw him off with some head movement. That's it. Throw him off with head movement. Jab, jab, and throw. Throw to the body, then to the head, then finish to the body. Cut his movement off. Keep, keep counterattacking him, okay? When he throws, make a miss and count.
They are back to action here, but that action has only favored one man. Completely one-sided. Hard to see the scorecards coming into play here with how dominating he's been. One, Not two, hitting his mark there going one, two, upstairs. Focusing. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspen and then go, oh no, actually I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Now just wasting away Keep some time with that moving. clinch. You got this one. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Merciless. Keep working the jab. Good. Good. Get out of the way from those punches. Move your head. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Unload. Bunker. Double up on your punches. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. You're still not moving enough. Move, move. Jab, jab. Plus shot, it was the overhand left. He's showing very good footwork. He's showing fine defensive movement here. But as for the opponent, how do you solve that? Well, you got to make believe you're a football player. You got to make believe you're a linebacker in football. You go down the line with that running back. You don't go following him yeah, around the place. It. You make sure you move laterally. That's exactly what he's got to do. He's got to cut that body. ring down, Work take space away. to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision, as you just touched on, has not You're been in their okay. minds at all. You're doing fine. I need you to move your head more, side to side. There you go. Sixth round now underway. Let's see who can really come on here in the second half of this fight. Great job of protecting himself. He's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're you doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. One, two, one, two. Unable to connect. And bang, and away he goes. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. The fight is over. Merciless is a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count.
that's what you want to see. A guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible and they got it. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great evening.